Okay. So today I'm going to work in my altered book. And this is the first time I'm working in this book. Some pages that I've torn out already. And I'm going to try and find. Let's go for this one. Or do I? It's very difficult to find. That day. Um, there's like lots and lots of photographs in this book. So you're not going to find a double page spread of words, I don't think. But this will do. And I'm just going to try and find my. Oh, something here. Excuse me. No, it's not. That's it. I've done this before I turn the camera on. <laughs> Must be. Yeah, so I've gone through and torn out a load of pages in this book to make it a bit thinner. I may end up tearing some more pages out, sticking pages together to give me room for it to grow. If you can see this. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't give it room to grow it will pop the spine. gesso to this page because I want my colours to show up nice and bright is the only reason really. This brush needs a really good clean. <laughs> Uh, yes, I've got my paints out again. These. I recently did a journal page with these with a credit card. I'm going to do a similar thing today, but I'm going to use my Brea instead. This. 
Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll pop out some green. And let's get this dry. That's dry enough. I think that's fine. Let's keep that up. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with the orange. Dry that off, and last but not least, the yellow. Is a very interesting background. Uh, and now we have to decide where we're going next. So I'll let that dry and I'll have a think about it. Okay, so I, today I went to Tiger and I picked up two more of these acrylic paints they are really nice I really like the way that they lay on and all that and the transparency is nice and I also bought these stamps not well they didn't arrive today they arrived yesterday but I want to play with them today so thank you so much Mike for sending them I like them. I love them. Let's have a play. 
I'm gonna pop some paint out. I'm gonna use the dark blue. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, I just need to have a little sip of my hot tea. Yes, I have been to work today. I need to remember not to lean too far forward so you don't see my logo. <laughs> I think probably some of you know who I work. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before. But anyway, here we go. I should probably move a bit further onto the table. I still don't know where this page is going. Just I think I'm just gonna have some fun with some layers. Uh, maybe I don't know, something quirky. Maybe one of the really big Tim Holtz paper dolls. Maybe I'll do something fun with that. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Yes, yeah, so if you want to order one of these stamp, uh, stencils, you need to head over to Mike Deacon's website. Uh, da -da -da. I haven't got it anywhere. It's a little bit bigger on there. He sent me a lovely card as well. Thank you. So head over to that website if you want to buy these stencils. Or, you know, we've got loads of stencils and digital downloads and all sorts. Go have a look. Hmm. Right, let's try and go across the middle. Orange a little bit. Okay, I like that. Um, I think that is enough of that one. Maybe we should try the other one. I like the star one the most. That is my favourite, but I like this one because I thought it would be just a bit of nice texture in the backgrounds and things. Let's go for the purple, why not? And then you can see what it looks like. I was hoping they would have a nice pastel purple, but you know, like a lilac, but they don't. Brush out. But this is nice, I love purple anyway. So. Sorry if you can hear the voices downstairs, everyone's been quite loud. It's just this way over.
Where the laughing half is. <clears throat> I should go and join them as soon as I finish filming. Just thought I'd steal a few minutes. Peace and quiet. Smudging paint everywhere, putting that on top of things. So, be careful. I'm liking that. Um, try not to get too carried away, so I'm going to leave that now. Um, maybe the next step is to add some white. But how do we add the white? White stamping, white stenciling. Maybe I had to get my other new stencils and play with those. It was a nice circle one. Yeah. Oh, that's a big circle. Hmm. Let me have a look through the stencils and we will come back and carry on. Okay, let's go with this random circle stencil that I made using some cardboard packaging and a couple of different shaped circle dies, not shaped, sized circle dies, they're all the same shape. Ay, ay, ay. I've been like this all day. I don't think I've woken up properly today. <laughs> My brain wants to go back to bed. Which I will be doing very, very soon. I need to get in the shower, actually. I'm not sure you need to know that. <laughs> I'm just rambling now. Here we go. I'm just going to put it down. A bit randomly, I think. Why not? Maybe that's the way my brain wants to work it. I didn't really have any white on the page even though I have sort of white space where I haven't painted as such um, 
it's not really white because the pages are old. I just need to wipe that paint off my finger before I get it everywhere. Okay. Yes. Like it. I'll pop some down here as well. that because it's in the areas where I haven't added much paint but yeah you can see it's fine there we go dry this off and then I'm going to add some of that wax paper to add some black and texture layers and all that good stuff edges Well then I will use a spatula. Ooh. Okay. There we go. 
too much about medium, so I'll spread it out a little bit. Let's try and get this to go right into that crease. on that paper as well so that's just adding again and there we go I think maybe now all it needs is a focal point and a quote. So, I need to decide what my focal point is going to be and what I want the page to say. So, yeah, hopefully we'll be back so shortly. Okay, so. I was trying to find some wax paper, but I could not find any, so this will do. <laughs> so I thought I did need that little envelope full of wax paper. It's probably where I was looking, but I just can't be bothered to pull it out and look properly. So, you know, I bought these um, from Visible Image just recently, a UK company, so I would like to play with them. Play, play, play with new things, don't we love it? I want the stamping platform now, and my archival black strip. And I'm going to stamp the kitty cat. matter if I get a nice impression first time. Stamp it up well. I think it up well, I should say. Stamp nicely. I think we've landed in the same place, which is good. Because the new stamps, they're very sticky. That's good enough. Good enough. Let's 
closer, just a slight bit smaller. Make it strong enough to keep it in place. It's just so annoying. That'll do. Okay. I need to order some more magnets. I don't really know where to get them from. Because they need to be the same depth as those ones. Awesome. Right. Now I'm going to pop those away. Oh, no, can't pop those away. More carefully. So this is the, the white bit of the napkin that you tear away when you use the pretty bit. So, you know, crafters don't throw anything away. You can use it for all sorts of fun stuff. I'll put it on that side just because that will show through the nose, so I don't want that. So we'll pop it on this side.
and then a little bit, a little, 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 little bit, and then we want the cry out. No, I need, I need a stamp him block. Maybe I don't. Let's just carefully ink it up. There's loads of ink on it. But yeah, sticky. Oh, this is a bad idea. Use my head a second. <laughs> there we go. Actually, what I'm going to do is grab my. Um, I don't think it wants to stamp very well over there. There's a bit of texture to that gel me. Yeah. Guess so. So I'm just going to grab a paint pen. Paint pen, paint pen. Black one and we'll make it nice and bold. Or, oh, this one will do. It's an alcohol marker. With a nice. Mm. Mm, yeah, that'll be do. That'll be fine. That'll be do. That'll be fine. Oh dear. I need a nap. It's nearly bedtime. Thing about this stamp set that really drew me with this cat's face. It's, it just reminds me of, and sort of this kooky writing as well reminds me of, uh, you know, Alice in Wonderland and Cheshire Cat and all that. And just kind of disappearing in and out. Some on the lamp page might be a good idea. Something similar to this, I'm thinking, but with more Alice in Wonderland themed stuff. I was thinking little circles. Oh. I need a lid for something. Ah, what is this? Yeah, this will do. This will do nicely. Let's grab back our purple paint. No, I really don't want to lean on that because it's very wet. Paint seems to be drying up already.
places where it's a bit bare maybe. Okay, I like that. I think that is enough. Uh, hmm. What else? Anything else? I want it to be quite whimsical. Different. Um, Maybe I'll bring some of that green back in. Yes. I'm going to grab the green. I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Let's grab some of this green. That might be too much, but never mind. Uh, right. I want this. And I want this. I can use the whites. It doesn't matter if it gets a bit worse it ah. Oh, sorry. I do apologise. I'm just hitting it. I'm just going to pop that there so I can pop my pad on top of it. Oh, I'll just put my hand in that medium. Nice. Yes, that's just what we need. I just think that orange is quite bold. I need to tame it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. And that just looks perfect on top. Oh my, I am loving this page. <laughs> right. Are we done? Or are we? Not. I think it's done. What do we think, guys? You can't really see that because it's on top of the green colour, but I'll just add it anyway. I think that's done. I don't want to go any further. I don't want to ruin it now. And I can't. Nothing is screaming at me that it's, you know, too much here or too much there. And nothing is suggesting itself to me. No more colours, no more white, no more. Yeah. Black. I think. I think we're good. And I'm not going to add a border or anything. I don't think it needs it. Yeah. Done. So let me, let me just zoom you out just a touch. 
and then hold the page up a little bit for you. Sorry for lurking a bit. It's got to be getting a bit dark outside now. So there we go. Uh, yeah, all these stamps, physical image. Let me just show you their little thank you card. There we go. So we're sort of supporting some UK companies there. Uh, which we like, we like. Um, anyway. I've had a lot of fun with that page and I think it turned out great. That's my first page in my altered book. And I'm really pleased with that. I'm actually really pleased with the way this book sits as well and I'm working on it. It's nice and flat. Ooh. Um, what we should do, we should date it. Um, the date stamp. So, there's I can see it working out. And I'll use my archival. And what's the date today? It is July. The 18th. So I need to remember that the 8 goes that side. And the 1 goes that side. And I'm going to pop that there. Okay. And we have to just add a little bit. Just a little bit here. The bottom of the 2019 didn't not quite right, but there we go, and don't ask me why, but my brain just thought, oh, if I saved the top off an old ink pad, I could use that as like a mark making tool, like a nice square. <laughs> crafters do not throw things away, okay? Right, so again, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again soon.